What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, dopetechdaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys my 24 hour follow up video on the TAG Hoyer Connected Modular 45 smartwatch. Now I did the unboxing video yesterday, you guys saw the unfortunate business that happened. I ended up having a scratch on my end unit when I unboxed it. A couple people mentioned that there are a couple different screen protectors there. I did take those off to make sure that that wasn't the issue. Took this over to Jared here uh, in Chandler, Arizona, and they were very, very helpful. They got me a new one, replaced it. There's no scratches at all on my beautiful sapphire glass covering display of the Tag Heuer connected watch, as you guys can probably see. Huge shout out to Jared over in Chandler. Great customer service. They took care of me. And now I want to give some impressions on the watch after using it, having it on my wrist, etc. And also mention a few things that I neglected in the first video just because I was a little taken aback by the issues that we had. Now, first of all, I paired it up to my HTC U Ultra here. Uh, I did get a new unit of this as well. You guys probably remember I was having some issues, had some uh, display light bleed here from the secondary display, got a new one of these in. So the full review of this is going to be coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned and watch out for the full review of the HTC U Ultra. So I'll put that out of the way. I want to show you guys the connected app that actually goes with the tag watch in just a second on the phone. But in terms of the build quality, as I mentioned yesterday, beautiful build quality. You've got this very, very, very nice bezel here. The uh, Actually, as I mentioned as well, everything on this watch is pretty much replaceable in terms of the hardware. Uh, you can replace the watch module. These slide out right here, as I showed you guys yesterday in the instructions. And the way that actually works is you've got these two little buttons here, as you can see, if I can get in there. You've got two little buttons right here on the inside, right there. And also right here at the bottom, you press those buttons, the strap comes out, the lugs come off. You can also replace the center module here, even replace this with a mechanical watch module if the smartwatch tech becomes outdated or you just want to switch to the mechanical module for other reasons. Now, of course, you can see here the pens on the back where you've got your uh, charging plate is going to go. I've used that. It does seem to charge pretty quick. You've also got a serial number on the back there, Tag Heuer, Intel inside. This is one of the few Android Wear watches that runs Intel. Now, I didn't talk too much about the clasp yesterday. The clasp mechanism, it's pretty interesting. The way it works is this clasp right here, you can bend it open in order to loosen things up. So you can open it like this. And then you just slide the rubber strap along here to bring this more taut to make it smaller or larger, adjust it as you need for your wrist. Now, you do need to push a little bit to get the rubber strap right where you need it. I talked to the guy over at Jared. He said if you want, you can even cut this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But if it's a little too long, you can cut it to make sure it doesn't uh, dig too much into your wrist once you actually bend it back. So when you bend it back like this, then the clasp just clasps over here like a regular mechanical type watch that you might get from a Swiss manufacturer like Tag, Tissot, etc. Now here's the clasp itself, very high quality. You're definitely not going to have this watch fall off your wrist. Tag Heuer branding right there. It does again snap shut, so very, very secure. Overall, this is a nice touch that definitely gives it that premium feel, that Swiss made feel. More Tag Heuer branding on the inside there. Now, one thing I will say about the uh, silicone and rubber strap they have here, it's very, very comfortable compared to the strap on something like the LG Watch Sport or something like the LG Watcher Bane 2. Here's the LG Watcher Bane 2 LTE. This strap right here, very, very stiff, and that's mainly because some of the things like the NFC and such are actually in the band. So these bands are non-replaceable. The band on the Tag Heuer Connected is replaceable because the NFC itself lives inside the body of the watch and not in the straps, which is definitely a nice touch. That's something that's going to allow you to customize the watch. Now, you also have a nice hardware button here on the side. One big downside, some Tag Heuer branding. One big downside to this watch, which I will talk about, is that it does not have the rotating bezel action that you find on the uh, on the uh, LG Watch Sport and the LG Watch Style, which is actually a huge selling point of Android Wear 2.0. So if you want to swipe through your apps, you're actually going to have to swipe through those. This thing does not rotate. So it's just a physical button. You're actually going to have to swipe through the apps like that. That is a bit annoying. Now, another thing that you'll notice if you look through the watch faces that are offered by Tag, you can go through and choose various styles, which a bunch of their classic styles are here. One of my favorites is the blue watch face, Tag Heuer watch face in blue. The problem is it doesn't have any of the Android Wear 2.0 complications available yet. There's only one watch face that actually has that available. I'll show you guys that in a second in the Tag Heuer connected app 
which is actually on my HTC Ultra, but you don't have all the complications available. Let's see if I can show you guys that watch face. I set it up yesterday. I think it's the one here, the very bottom. Oh, it's not even listed here. You have to go to the actual connected app in order to do that. So I'll show you that. Uh, the other thing which I've mentioned before, and you guys have probably seen a couple times now if we wait for the watch to time out. If you use Android Pay on your watch, one thing that's annoying, it locks and you have to enter your pattern every time it's off your body, which is annoying because if you enter the wrong pattern a few times, it's gonna lock you out for a minute or so, but that is required in order to use Android Pay. Another downside of the Tag Heuer Connected only having one button on the side, unlike the LG Watch Sport, which has three buttons, is that you don't have a button that you can dedicate to pressing and getting Android Pay. So every time you use Android Pay, you're gonna have to go here and then tap on the Android Pay app, which is a little bit concerning overall. I tried using uh, Android Pay at a few vending machines today. I was down at SneakerCon here in Phoenix, and I actually could not get it to work, uh, which I'm not quite sure why. I could not get it to work, but it didn't work with the vending machine. I've had no issues with my phone, so I'm going to try this a few more times. I hope that there's not something wrong with the NFC, either on the hardware or the software side, uh, but maybe it was just that particular machine. It did work with my HTC Ultra, though, when I tried to use Android Pay, so I'm a little concerned about that, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the battery life seems to be okay so far, so if we go in here and take a quick look at the battery, I've been using it all day today, 75%. I've been in SneakerCon all day, getting pretty decent notifications, been out in the sunlight quite a bit. I'd say 75 is pretty good uh, for the seven hours of usage I've put on it. Uh, that's probably quite a bit better than the LG Watch Sport. Again, though, it does not have LTE capability, so of course that is something to keep in mind. Overall, I've been very impressed with the watch so far. The screen is super bright, uh, and the sapphire glass on the front, along with this uh, AMOLED display, makes it look beautiful. You can definitely see this in the bright sun outside here in Arizona, which is something that's important to me. It's definitely more stylish, and it definitely is a comfortable watch in terms of the rubber strap uh, than any of the other Android Wear watches I've used. I do have some issues though with the functionality, the fact it doesn't have the rotating uh, crown, it also doesn't have the multiple buttons, that is something to think about, and again, I will address that further in the full review. So far I'm very impressed, of course it's a very expensive, expensive watch, and I am sort of keeping that in mind while reviewing it, but also remember, Tag is not trying to sell this to the number one tech aficionado out there. They're trying to sell this to people who are fashion conscious, that want that name brand, along with the usability of a smartwatch. So here, just really quick, let's take a look at the Tag Heuer Connected app. You can see it tells me my most recently worn watch face here. You can swipe up, find a whole bunch of other watch faces, along with the Tag Heuer Studio. You can see here in the Tag Heuer Studio, you can design numerous watch faces, colors, etc., with the Chrono 3 watch face. The other one, which I was mentioning before, which is of particular significance, are the interactive themes. These are for the complications that go along with Android Wear 2.0. As you can see right now, there's only one watch face that goes along with this. You can either get it in black or you can get it in white, as you guys can see right here. There's the dark theme, and if we go back, there's the light theme. So they definitely need to improve on the number of complications, mainly because I'd like to have Android Pay in one of these complications on the home screen. That way I don't have to go into the app drawer every time since this only has one hardware button on it. All right, guys, so that is my quick look and 48-hour impressions on the Tag Heuer Connected Modular 45. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Follow me on dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.